Arcade EIP is a front end that can be used alone or to extend the function of other front ends. Its main reason for existing is to help make modern multi-game arcade machines operate closer to the way traditional dedicated arcade machines do, by making it always possible to just walk up and begin playing immediately. One way that Arcade EIP achieves this is by always having a playable game displayed on the screen and by changing the game periodically. Another way that it achieves this is by allowing you to browse for another game instantly without having to exit the current game first. With the newest version of Arcade EIP, selecting a new game can be made even more seamless with the addition of full support for the Elgato Stream Deck or any other similar button panel with macro capability. Just push a game's button on an external keypad and Arcade EIP will immediately load the game. The Stream Deck I'm using here is the Mark II version and mounts to my control panel using a 3D printed clip. To select a new game, all I do is press a label button. Here's a close-up view of the profile I created for my Stream Deck. I'll walk through it to show you all the sorts of things you can do, but obviously this is just my profile. And since profiles are easy to create on the Stream Deck, yours can look like anything you want it to. First, I'll show you what the buttons look like, and then I'll show you what they do. In this area of the screen, I have some of the main games that are on the cabinet, and if you press the More button, you'll continue to see more games in the list that are alphabetically listed. And once again, just by pressing any of these buttons, we can go directly to the game. Back on the main screen, on this side and along the bottom, are some menu keys. For example, if I wanted to go to a random game, I could just press this button here. And this will activate Arcade EIP's feature to go to the next uh, random game in the attract list. Hello, I am Bob. If I then wanted to go to the last game, I could just press this button and it will return to whatever game we were previously running. Down here, I have a button called Arcade Genres, and inside of here, I've placed some different genres, uh, such as pinball games, platform games, shooter games, and so forth. And I could place any groups that I wanted to. I'm also taking advantage here of, of the Stream Deck's ability to display animated GIF files. If I were to press on one of these, I would see a list of, for example, platform games. And once again, pressing on any of these buttons will go directly to that game. If I go back up to the main menu and I press console systems, I have various different home consoles. And I could add as many of these as I wanted to. If I were to go inside, for example, the Atari 2600 list and scroll through here, I could find a game that I like. For example, I'll go ahead and press Enduro. And that will load uh, Activision's Enduro. Returning back to the main menu, we also have one last button that I'll just point out here, and that is this button right here, which enables you to take remote control of Arcade EIP through the Stream Deck rather than through the control panel if you prefer to access it that way. So for example, I could press this menu button and this will bring me to a menu which allows me to do such things as turn the menu on and off on the screen. Uh, I also have the ability to toggle favorites and I also have the ability to add and remove from favorites. And once I've selected a game that I like, 
I can always go ahead and press the go button and that will bring me to whatever game was selected on the screen. I find that integrating the Elgato Stream Deck with Arcade EIP gives my arcade machine more of the spontaneous feel of a dedicated cabinet, with operation reduced down to just a few button pushes. If that's what you're after, give it a try. Thanks for watching.